Hi there, today we will learn how we can score our cricket match on Crickslav with the international quality cricketing experience. And at the same time, your audience can follow the live scorecard, ball by ball commentary, updates and real-time stats. So first, log in to your account and go to scoring. To log in, tap on more, click on profile. As you can see, I already logged in and here you see the scoring option. Just tap on the scoring and after that tap on the matches that you want to score. In my case I have multiple matches in, in the list. So for example I want to score first match. Select the toss and tap on start match button. So here you have to select who won the toss and who is going to bat first and then tap on start button. After toss, application will ask you to confirm squad. You can change it anytime during the scoring as well. So select squad. As you can see, I need for to run this match, I need six players and six players already selected. But for example, I want to drop any player. Let's say I want to drop these two players and I want to add these new players. So I can easily drop them and add them. And do the same for the second team for example I want to drop these two players and I want to add these new players and you can change it anytime during the scoring as well after squad selection select striker who is coming at striker and non striker baller and tap on start scoring button now we are on scoring screen from where you can perform all the operations for a match as you can see we have bowling batting runs wickets extras and all other options here which we need to score a match let's start our scoring and try and track the live actions all action will be tracked based on match rules and we have 6 plays and 3 over rule for this match. Let's start first over by adding 6 runs. So once you tap on 6 it will ask you on which side that 6 was. So let's say it was deep mid wicket. And let's perform dot ball. And let's say on next ball it was out. So just tap on wicket icon in the bottom of the in the bottom just tap on middle icon. And select how he was bowled. Let's say it's a hit wicket cut, like before wicket. Let's say suffer cut. Then you have to select who took the catch, and then if the crossover happened or no. Just try click on apply. And after that, you will see a wicket summary. And here you have options to undo it or proceed with this one. So let's proceed with. And once you proceed, it will ask you to select next batsman. And let's say there's a one runs as you can see as whenever we add one run it will automatically change striker and non striker Crick's lab works on set of rules which you can define for a match and based on that it will automatically change striker and non striker and and let's say next is four runs it will again ask on which side that four was let's say it was log off and then let's say six runs it was deep cover and after the over completion it will show you a over summary and here you have a chance to see if there is any mistake you still have options to undo that last ball and even you can undo, undo the whole inning on click slab just see the inning summary uh, sorry just see the over summary and hit on next and after that it will ask you who is coming for next over just select the next baller and also here on the bottom of the screen you have options to undo last ball for example I have selected A Hanan but uh, A Hanan should not be the baller then I have options either undo as well I can change the baller to change the baller just tap on baller name and it will ask you okay would you like to retire the baller or change the baller let's say I would like to change the baller and it will ask with whom you are going to change let's say Sami Aslam or Aslam Sami 
so as you see baller has been changed and same thing you can do with batsman just tap on it and you will have option to swap to change and to retire let's say next is one runs two run and let's say the wicket is down and it, this time it was uh, let's say it's it was run out and when it is a run out it will ask who is out so just select who is out who did the fielding select that is there any runs completed and at the same time has batsman crossed so select the option as per the action and again you will see a wicket summary just verify all the information either the wicket summary is fine or you have uh, out the right play if no then you have options to undo it and then perform the same action again so I'm okay with this I will going to proceed and it will ask you select next batsman and after that let's say add dot ball one run and whenever we add one three or five runs it will automatically change the striker and also as you see after bowling and batting summary you will see no ball wide ball by leg by overthrow and all the actions that are needed while doing a scoring let's say it's a wide plus wicket and no ball plus wicket penalty runs you can also add overthrow leg by by and wide let's track a wide ball and once you tap on white ball it will ask you is there is there any score completed with the white for now I say zero there's no any score completed let's say next ball we will track no ball and once you tap on no it will ask you either it is a over footed or over heighted so just select what 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 was the action and also select is bad contacted or not and is there any runs completed And also I want to show you the actions option in in the bottom of this screen just tap on options and you will see we have a lot of options here like you can see a full scorecard just tap on full scorecard and you will see a, a full scorecard here for both innings first inning and second innings you will see a ball by ball commentary and the good thing here you can also filter the ball by ball commentary let's say you want to see all the wickets just select the wickets and it will give you on which ball the wicket was done if you want to see max runs you can do that as well and then you can see squad option here for the both teams and you can live see the live stats as you can see only first inning is going on and i can see first innings overs you will see highlights if you have uploaded videos or images any highlight during the match that will be appeared here you will see match info as well your your audience or your followers can also have options to share with other guys as you see on top we have two options bell icon and share option you can share with anyone just tap on and share via whatsapp facebook or any other social media as well as you can you can uh, subscribe this match and to subscribe just click on bell icon and you can subscribe toss fall of wicket boundaries performance match inning break results catches drop so it ups to up to you which action you want to which action you want to subscribe so I'm going to subscribe all the actions so if I subscribe all the actions whenever these events happen I will get notification just apply it that's it I subscribe it so now go back to scoring again and then another option we have change squad as I said you can change the squad at any time of the match and we have revised match over in case there is a rain or bad weather and you want to revise the overs and revise the target you can do that you can end the innings or add the breaks so for example we want to add uh, short drinks break we can simply click short drink breaks and add it as you can see match break has been stored and then we have another option called cancel a match let's say rain happened or anything bad happened and you want to cancel it simply tap on cancel match and cancel it you can enable wagon wheel you can change the wicket keeper as well for example wicket keeper is change or wicket keeper is going to ball in that case you can change a wicket keeper from here 
and let's complete this match because it's three overs match and we are almost there let's say on next ball there are two runs and i will quickly perform all the action this is over summary as i explained you already so now i will just move forward and quickly add all the actions let's say next is six runs it's a buy one run it's a leg boy three runs next is dot 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 so as you can see all three overs ball ball and it is showing the inning summary still you have options to undo it or start next next inning so i'm going to start the next inning now so perform the same action for the second inning as well just select striker non-striker and baller and here i want to share with another thing whenever any type if you select baller or bat, batsman if batting or bowling type is missing it will ask you to select that first so just update it and tap on start scoring and i will quickly quickly complete this match to show you a few other other nice features of Crick Slab like automatic man of the match suggestions over summaries first over is done uh, you cannot ball same baller cannot ball same consecutive overs four runs six runs four runs dot ball six so second over also completed let's select like next baller and type six runs yeah so as you see whenever the match has been completed either the second teams or wickets are dropped or second team chase the runs so it will immediately show you a match result but here you have options to undo it as well so yes i would like to proceed and after that it will ask would you like to declare man of the match yes i would like to declare now and this is very nice feature of Greek slab you don't need to worry about uh, writing things on the paper and then calculating who will be the man of the match application will automatically suggest you man the match and this feature is 99.9 .9 is accurate and working perfectly so let's say abdul hanan is the man of the match just save and that's it as you see this match added into completed or recent listed and here you will be having to download match result as well you can see man of the match here as well and you can download ma match result sheet in pdf as well thank you very much for watching this video and keep giving international quality experience to your audience with Greek slab and see you in next video bye